The following is an excerpt from a video titled, The Intertwined Journey of Science and Spirituality. Chapter 2 In Chapter 2, we delve into the turbulent waters where the rising tide of scientific discovery met the established shores of spiritual doctrine. This meeting was not always peaceful. It was often marked by conflict, controversy, and profound change. The birth of science was often viewed with skepticism and fear. Scientific methods and ideas, rooted in observation and questioning of the status quo, were seen as challenges to the authority of religious institutions. In a time when religion was not just a belief system, but a cornerstone of social and political order, scientific inquiry was often viewed as unorthodox. The story of early scientific theories is one of courageous inquiry in the face of formidable opposition. Consider the heliocentric model proposed by Copernicus, which placed the sun, not the earth, at the center of our solar system. This was a radical departure from the geocentric view endorsed by the church, which saw earth as the universe's center, reflecting the belief in humanity's special place in creation. Galileo Galilei's support of this model led to his infamous trial and house arrest, exemplifying the friction between emerging scientific ideas and established religious doctrines. This tension was not limited to astronomy. The development of evolutionary theory by Charles Darwin provided a biological foundation for the diversity of life that contrasted sharply with the literal interpretations of religious texts like the Bible. Darwin's theory of natural selection and the idea of common descent suggested a natural, undirected process of evolution, in stark contrast to the doctrine of divine creation. The battles between science and religion were not just intellectual debates, but often had real-world consequences. Scientists faced persecution, their works were banned, and their ideas suppressed. This conflict was not just about facts, but about worldviews. Science challenged the very framework through which people understood their existence and their place in the universe. Despite initial resistance, science began to gain acceptance, driven by its undeniable success in explaining and manipulating the natural world. The benefits of scientific inquiry, evident in technological advancements and increased understanding of the world, made it increasingly difficult to dismiss. The utility of science in improving human life and its ability to provide clear, testable, and reliable knowledge gradually led to its acceptance. This acceptance forced many religious institutions to update, evolve, or adapt their beliefs. The Catholic Church, for instance, eventually accepted the heliocentric model, and much later, recognized the validity of evolutionary theory. Many religious thinkers began to reinterpret ancient texts and doctrines in ways that were compatible with scientific understanding. This adaptation was not an outright acceptance of all scientific ideas, but often a nuanced attempt to reconcile faith with empirical evidence. As the scientific revolution took hold, it became clear that science and religion would need to coexist. This coexistence was not always harmonious, but it marked a significant shift in human thought. Religions began to focus more on the moral and spiritual dimensions of human life, areas where science, with its focus on the material and empirical, was less equipped to provide answers. The coexistence of science and religion, each with its unique approach to understanding life, death, and existence brings both complementary perspectives and inherent challenges. On the one hand, science with its empirical methods and reliance on observable evidence offers a systematic approach to understanding the physical world. It excels in explaining the mechanics of life, the structure of matter, and the laws governing the universe. The scientific method's strength lies in its ability to test hypotheses build on accumulated knowledge, and crucially, its willingness to adapt when faced with new evidence. However, science reaches its limits when it comes to the subjective and existential aspects of human life. 
questions about the meaning of existence, the purpose of life, and what, if anything, lies beyond death often remain outside its view. Science can describe the processes of life and death, but often struggles to imbue these processes with personal or universal meaning. Religion, in contrast, thrives in these very areas where science is less equipped. It offers frameworks for understanding not just the how, but the why of human existence, providing moral guidelines, a sense of purpose and comfort in the face of life's uncertainties. Through narratives, rituals, and doctrines, religion addresses the human need for meaning, community, and hope, especially in contemplating the inevitability of death and the possibility of an afterlife. However, religion's reliance on faith and tradition can sometimes lead to dogmatism and resistance to new ideas that challenge established beliefs. While science is often open to revising its understanding based on new evidence, religious doctrines typically change more slowly, sometimes leading to conflicts with evolving scientific understanding. In this interplay between science and religion, we find both strengths and weaknesses. Science offers clarity and knowledge about the workings of the physical world, but can leave existential questions unanswered. Religion provides meaning and a moral compass, but can sometimes resist updating its perspectives in light of new discoveries. Together, however, they offer a more comprehensive understanding of human existence, each complementing the other in the endless quest for knowledge and meaning. The evolution of science from the roots of religion is a testament to humanity's insatiable quest for understanding. Initially, the quest to comprehend the world around us was deeply enmeshed with religious thought. Early scientific endeavors were often pursued in the context of seeking a deeper understanding of the divine order. The natural world was seen as a manifestation of a higher power's work, and studying it was a way to glorify and better understand that power. However, as empirical methods developed and a more systematic approach to studying the natural world emerged, science began to carve its own distinct path, separate from the doctrines of religion. This separation was pivotal in allowing science to pursue objective inquiry free from theological constraints. It enabled a focus on observable, testable phenomena and led to rapid advancements in our understanding of the physical world. The benefits of this divergence are manifold. Science, unfettered by religious dogma, has made incredible strides in explaining natural phenomena, from the mechanics of the universe to the complexities of biology. This has not only expanded our knowledge, but has also led to practical applications that have greatly improved human health, comfort, and understanding of our place in the cosmos. Yet, the separation of science from spirituality has not rendered the latter obsolete. Rather, it has allowed each to flourish in its own right. Spirituality continues to provide a framework for addressing the moral, ethical, and existential questions that science alone cannot answer. It offers a sense of purpose, community, and a framework for understanding aspects of human experience that are subjective and transcendent. In essence, while science and spirituality have followed separate paths, their complementary nature enriches our understanding of the universe and ourselves. Science provides the tools to unravel the mysteries of the physical world. While spirituality helps us navigate the complexities of human experience and morality, together they form a more holistic approach to understanding our existence, catering to both the rational and the spiritual aspects of our nature. In recent years, there has been a growing interest in areas of study that attempt to bridge the gap between science and spirituality, often venturing into what some might label as pseudoscience. These fields explore concepts like consciousness, the power of intention, and quantum mysticism, seeking to understand the spiritual dimension through a scientific lens. For instance, quantum mechanics, with its mysterious and non-intuitive nature, has been interpreted by some to suggest a connection between the human mind and the fabric of reality, 
although such interpretations are often debated within the scientific community. Similarly, the study of consciousness, once considered solely a philosophical or spiritual inquiry, has gained interest among neuroscientists and psychologists who are exploring the scientific underpinnings of awareness and subjective experience. These explorations, while often controversial, reflect a desire to reconcile scientific understanding with spiritual and existential questions. The Catholic Church's stance on alien life offers an intriguing example of a religious doctrine adapting in response to scientific discovery and speculation. The Vatican has shown openness to the possibility of extraterrestrial life, which is a significant departure from historical religious views that placed humans at the center of God's creation. This openness is not an outright endorsement of the existence of alien life, but rather a recognition that the discovery of extraterrestrial beings would not necessarily contradict Catholic theology. The Church posits that if such beings exist, they too would be part of God's creation. This stance reflects a broader trend within the Church to engage with scientific discoveries, from the Big Bang theory to evolution, integrating these ideas into a theological framework. It demonstrates a notable shift from a historically geocentric and anthropocentric view to one that embraces the vast and unknown possibilities of the cosmos, illustrating how religious doctrines can evolve in light of new scientific understanding and curiosity. In concluding this chapter, we see that the relationship between science and religion is not merely one of conflict or harmony, but a dynamic interplay that reflects the complexity and richness of human understanding. The evolution of this relationship underscores our ability to embrace multiple perspectives, continually seeking a deeper understanding of our place in the cosmos. End of chapter 2